Hey there everyone, welcome back to Game Finder. My name is Dave and today we are looking at a game from IDW called Amoeba. Let's do it. As a disclaimer, this is a review copy from IDW. I appreciate your support, you helped the channel grow, but this game has to earn its merit. So, I hope you paid attention in science class because we're going to be talking about Amoebas today. It's a tile laying game in the likeness of Carcassonne like many tile laying games before it. But it has a gimmick to it in the way that you lay the tiles down. I'm not going to get too much into, into that right now because I'm going to show you what comes in the box first. And then I'll show you what I'm talking about in the how to play portion of the video. So let's go. Okay, so here are the components of Amiibo, and it's a tile game, so you're going to get some cardboard and you're going to get a few other pieces, and it is the case in this game as well. So you have these little wooden pieces, which are thick, they're decent, um, and these are the nuclei. My favorite part of the whole game is this chunky dice. It's got nice weight to it. I like the customization of the numbers, and it has one on one side, two, 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 three. And then these tiles here, they're just just on the cusp of being too thin but i think they make it uh, but like i said if they were just any thinner i would not like them but with that being said these are decent tiles and they're going to stand the test of time they have art on um different art on a lot of them here so and for good reason and they have the name of the game on the very back and the insert holds everything pretty well. With that being said, now let me show you how to play this game. So I'm gonna go over the basic rules of Amoeba. It's a super simple game. There's just a tiny twist on how you're gonna be laying down the tiles. Give everybody their color nuclei. You have everybody draw three tiles as their hand, and they'll always have three in their hand. And then you put one tile to build off of. Uh, so once you have that and everybody set up, you're going to have the first player roll a dice, and then that's how many tiles that person gets to place during their turn and then the next person will take the dice and do the same. So on your to start of your turn, you're gonna draw up um, more tiles to get back to three. But since I was able to draw, uh, play three, this is what you're doing. Essentially, you're trying to um, build amoebas and put your nuclei in them, and every bulbous counts as a point. So you wanna get the most bulbuses, and big groups of bulbuses would be good as well, because they're worth more points. Uh, the Get the gimmick is you can play the tiles straight on like that as long as the art matches up, but you also can play like this. You don't have to match up the art so much. You can do something along those lines, which is super weird at first, but as long as all the art matches up in a certain way and the, and the amoebas are running um, in a way that it can be completed, and the purple still has a way to get built off of, you can place that legitimately, which is crazy. Um, so I get to place three, and this right here is a pretty good move. So once I enclose a nuclei, a amoeba like so, let's just say I put this here, I would then put my nuclei on any part of the, the puzzle. It doesn't really matter because uh, it, it doesn't count as a point, but this means this amoeba belongs to me at the moment. And it counts for one bulbous, two bulbous, three bulbous, four bulbous. This is a four point amoeba for green at the moment. Now, when the next person rolls the dice and they get to play two tiles on their turns, they can actually play tiles also on top of each other. Now you can only go one level high. Uh, so after a tile is played on top of another tile, you can't uh, put a second one on top so only too high but as long as the art matches up you can place that tile there basically that would be what that's looking like uh, right here but if i were to split this up let's just say that this is a legal move right here which it is i shrink green's um, amoeba and now he only has two points now if i were to shrink it in a way like uh, the nuclei is here i would just move the nuclei to the um other amoeba on any other bulbous same with like gaps you can as long as it's a legitimate move you can place it on top of a gap to make the art line up and you'll continue to play all these uh tiles rolling the dice putting your nu nuclei and ame amoebas and 
splitting up your opponent's amoebas, trying to make your amoebas bigger, and you do that until, until everybody has played all the tiles, even the ones in their hands, and then you will count up all the amoebas that have nuclei in them, and whoever has the most bulbous points wins the game of amoebas, divide and conquer. So that's how you play. Now let me give this game a score and tell you my opinion. Let's go. So that's how you play Amoeba. Um, it's interesting. I'm gonna give it a 70. So it's a C grade average type game for me. What it tries to do, it executes fairly well. Uh, the production quality, the cardboard's nice. I love the dice. I love giant dice. Giant dice are just amazing. Dice in general are just my favorite. Uh, and I like the unique of that dice um, and the fact that you're playing multiple tiles on your turn it's better than just playing one I play that role in Carcassonne where you have a, a handful of tiles that you can play but the fact you can play multiple in this game is pretty neat and you're covering up gaps and you have gaps I've never seen that done in a board game before I don't know if it's happened but it's the first time I've experienced it and it went over fairly well with me and my partner um, it, it, it's kind of weird and sometimes my brain would break I couldn't um, split the amoebas as well as I wanted to I thought it would be easier my partner executed it well but and me, my brain just couldn't wrap around it. So I don't know if that's going to happen to other people, um, but it is a fair game. And it's, like I said, the quality of the production is good. If you like Carcassonne or any kind of tile laying games at all, you can't go wrong with this one, especially because it's small size. I love small size games because they're portable and I play games on my coffee table and on my couch. So if they fit there, me and my partner play them and it's a plus in my book. So take that for what it is. But this game is, is a solid game. Game. getting a 70 from me and the recommendation seal from GameVine. So thank you so much again IDW for your support and uh, we're going to get more reviews out here soon of your games and thank you so much Vine Nation for your support as well and if you haven't already subscribe and if you like the video click like and if you don't like it click this and tell me down below why you don't. But until the next time that I see you have a great rest of your day and a great time with all that you play. Let's peace out and divide and conquer my vine nation. I'm out. Miko, it's time to go. Good girl, Miko.